Katy Perry appeals the Australian designer's trademark loss by contesting a court's ruling that she violated a trademark belonging to an Australian fashion designer by selling items on her 2014 Prism tour. Singer Katy Perry hopes to transform herself from zero to hero. The federal court determined in April that a company controlled by Katy Perry's real name, Catherine Elizabeth Hudson, was responsible for violating the local designer Katy Jane Taylor's trademark. Since 2007, Taylor has marketed and created her own apparel line under the Katy Perry name. The singer's company Kitty Perry was found to have violated the Katy Perry trademark by selling merchandise bearing the singer's name during the 2014 Prism tour in Australia, according to Justice Bridget Markovic. Despite using her own name in good faith, Hudson was judged to have violated the trademark on Twitter prior to the tour but was exempt from liability for damages. Taylor's additional allegations that apparel purchased from Target, Meyer, and online retailers including Amazon and eBay while the Prism tour was underway or before the 2018 Australian leg of the Wit tour were rejected by Justice Markovic. The federal court also rejected a request by Kitty Purry, a music diva, and two further businesses, Killer Queen and Perfect Ventures, to cancel the Katy Perry trademark. Last Monday, the singer and her businesses submitted their appeal of the judgment. There is no set date for the hearing.